Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm gonna show you a helpful tool that can move your WhatsApp chats from your Android phone to your iPhone or the other way around. The tool is called iTransfer for WhatsApp and it's sent to me by a company called iMyPhone for reviewing. And I agreed to do this quick review because I saw a lot of articles and discussions online about this topic. So this video will be helpful for some people out there. By the way, it's not only limited to transferring chats between devices, but also backing up your WhatsApp chats to the PC without backing up your whole device and restore them back whenever you need to. And I do have a really cool thing for you, which is a giveaway of five lifetime licenses of the iTransfer for WhatsApp tool that you can use on up to 10 devices. So if you really need this tool and lucky enough to win one of these licenses, you will save yourself $49, which is the official price now. And to be able to participate in the giveaway contest, the link will be in the description below. And all you need to do is to finish some simple actions to enter the draw. I will announce the winners after maximum two weeks from now. So if you're happy to support the channel and the iMyPhone company, please subscribe or like the iMyPhone Facebook page. So let's check the iTransfer for WhatsApp in action and I will use it to move my WhatsApp chats from my Pixel 3 XL to my iPhone 11 Pro Max. First, to start transferring your chats, you need to download and install the software on your PC and the link is in the description below. And as you see here, it's currently available for Windows, however, it's coming soon to Mac users. After the download, simply run the file and follow the on-screen instructions to install. So here how it looks and also you can access the user guide by clicking the hamburger menu and choose user guide, which will provide you with very detailed instructions on how to use it. So let's check the app and see what are the features you get. The first feature of the iTransfer for WhatsApp is transferring your chats between devices, either iOS to Android or the other way around using this switch button. You can also backup your chats to the PC without the need to backup the whole device and that's really helpful especially if you have a software issue with your iPhone or Android device blocking you from backing them up. Or if you don't have enough space on your PC to back up the whole device and all you care about is the WhatsApp. Finally, restoring WhatsApp backups, which is simply restoring your chats after backing them up and it will show you the list of backups to choose from. To give you a hands-on experience on how to use the tool, I will do a quick demo to transfer my WhatsApp chats from my Pixel 3 XL to my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And for the rest of the features, they are pretty much identical if it's not even easier. To start the process, there are few steps you need to follow. On your Android, you need to activate the USB debugging and that can be found under developer settings. And if you don't have developer settings activated, tap seven times on the build number, which you will find in any Android phone under the about section of your settings. On the iOS, you need to deactivate the find my iPhone under settings by tapping on your account, then tap find my, find my iPhone and turn it off, but you will be asked for your Apple ID password to do that. Then you need to download WhatsApp from your app store, but don't sign in with your WhatsApp account just yet. Or if you have WhatsApp already, keep in mind that your current WhatsApp data will be deleted from the destination phone and will be replaced with the transferred data as per the user guide. Now both devices are ready, so connect them one by one and the order doesn't matter. And when you connect your Android, you will be asked if you want to allow this PC to access your device, so simply hit allow. Same on the iPhone, it will ask you to trust the PC, but there is one important thing you need to do for the iPhone, which is installing iTunes on your PC to allow the iTransfer tool to detect your iPhone. But you don't need the iTunes itself for this process, so just keep it closed. After finishing the preparation, you need to have the two devices connected to the PC at the same time. And as you see here, the Pixel 3 XL and the iPhone are showing as connected and now you can hit transfer to start the process. You need to keep in mind that the iTransfer for WhatsApp tool will ask you to do a few things on your Android device to keep the process going, so stay alerted for the instructions. Once you hit transfer, you will get a window with some points that you need to keep in mind and I already advised two of them. But the most important one is the last one, which will advise you that the tool will install a custom version of WhatsApp only on your Android device to be able to transfer your data. 
which means that your current WhatsApp will be uninstalled from your Android device and replaced with this custom version. And I personally used it and it's exactly the same as the original one from the Play Store. But before the tool deletes your current WhatsApp, it will ask you to turn off the Google Drive backup under WhatsApp settings by setting it to never. And then hit the backup button to create another backup for your WhatsApp chats on your local storage, which the app will use to transfer to the iPhone. Then it will ask you to provide permission to the new custom version of WhatsApp to access your storage. Then you need to activate the custom WhatsApp using the same phone number. Then it will ask you to restore from your local backup. So just hit restore. So those are all the steps required on your Android device. Then it will ask you to move to your iOS to make sure you have WhatsApp installed and then you need to also activate it using the same phone number but on iOS no need for installing a custom WhatsApp version then if WhatsApp asks you to restore from a backup just tap skip restore and let the iTransfer tool do the job. Keep in mind that after the process finishes your iPhone will restart automatically and it will show you the setup assistant. So I thought my iPhone got completely erased, but don't worry, just finish the steps and your phone will be back up and running with all the data on it. And now you will have all your WhatsApp data transferred to the other device. So that's pretty much it. We managed to move the WhatsApp data from the Pixel 3 XL using Android to the iPhone 11 Pro Max using iOS 13 without any issues. Don't forget to register for the giveaway if you need this tool, maybe you will be one of the lucky winners. So thank you for watching and see you the next video.